Good afternoon and welcome to Hudson Fields here at Hazen Union High School in Hartford, Vermont. It is your Hazen Union Varsity Boys baseball team taking on the Randolph Galloping Ghosts this afternoon. You're watching on HCTV Channel 1080 on your cable dial streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Our sponsors today, the Village Restaurant, open 6 to 3 every day, breakfast and takeout all day. Check out their daily specials. And the Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, gmtcc.lnsc.org. Jumpstart your future. Michael on tech, art on camera. My companion announcer, Ivan Menard. Sitting beside me, Lance Hall with the call today. How you doing, Ivan? I'm doing great, Lance. How are you? Uh, too bad. I think we're going to have a pretty good baseball game here today. Yep. The uh, boys snapped an eight-game losing streak against Lamoille this past Saturday. Beat them 16-7, I hear. Yep. Randolph comes in on a bit of a losing streak. I think they've lost uh, maybe seven of their last games. Yeah. I, I missed that last game, but boy, that wind is picking up now. So I don't it sure is. we got clouds coming in from the south. We'll see what happens. Yeah, Grayson on the mound. First pitch, see how he does here. Tanner Langlois, a sophomore at the play for Randolph. What do we got on the first pitch, Ivan? Well, we had a strike. Grayson started out right down the pipe. This should be a good game for us. There's strike two, nice breaking ball. Did you see that tail off the very It did, there? it was beautiful. Um, but wow, that's a pretty steady breeze now. It is, it is. Here we go. That's just shot. Routine, here we go. There's one. One up, one down. Who's on second day? Justin Montgomery over to uh, Jake Davison on first yeah. base. Yeah. Jake at first, Justin second base, uh, Justin Montgomery, Jake Davison at first, correction. Andrew Menard coming in at shortstop. And we got uh, another Jake on third base. Third. All right, we got Jackson Bascom up now for the Ghosts. He's going to be playing shortstop in the field. They don't have a grade for him. He wasn't, didn't see him on their roster. Another good start right there for Grayson. I watched him throw up at Fairfax, and he did a good job up there. That was a nice, that was a good game for us up there, too. That could have gone either way. Yeah, we've been in, you know, after we beat Lemoyne, we had been in a few as well. That one's popped up. It's going to be over near the dugout. I don't know if Jake's going to have a play on that. Nope. You know, Mike Brown, <clears throat> he's been coaching up there for, it's got to be 25, 30 years, I would imagine. And uh, he's rebuilding his program up there as well. Uh, you know, I guess you could call it a reset year. So it was fun to visit with Mike about Absolutely. Team both teams. Here we go, Grayson. He's way ahead. That There's a shot out to left. Dan should be underneath that one. Yep. There we go, Dano. I heard uh, Dan hit the ball very well Saturday. I don't know if you... Uh, I did not hear that. Okay. I've been sort of out of the loop and busy with some different stuff. And mm -hmm. Riley Lyford, a senior, Light. up now for the Ghosts. Two down, here we go. Let's see what Grayson deals. Beauty start. This is one. Big fella here about it. Yeah. Takes a ball high. Tall, got some mm -hmm. bulk to him. I think he gets his bat on the ball, it's gonna fly. Yeah. Was there any snow left on the mound down at Killington? There was a little bit on one trail. That one trail that they always really stack up and they try to ski till June. Yeah. But uh, Lydia said they don't think they're gonna make it uh, quite to June. It's gonna warm up too much. Wow. She hiked up the other day. Um, I got a video of her hopping over some mud on her snowboard on the way down yeah, from just uh, missed outside. last week. Oh, really? Nice. Yeah. Nice. But there was a little bit of snow still up on a couple of the slopes. Yeah. I, I think, think I had 85 on my thermometer on my car when we were in the parking lot there. Woo. Yeah, it was warm. That bar is right in my view, lines, but I think it is that two and two. Two and two and two. I believe it's two and two, yep. Yeah. Triple twos. The pitch fell back. This kid's battling. I yeah. want to see uh, who wins this one, Grayson or this young man batting. Um, Joe Revard's back, too. He's had a little break. Uh, his daughter Kelsey was gone to a basketball camp. I think it was 
big AAU stuff. I'm not really sure. Oh, is that out like in Idaho, it I was, think? It was quite a road trip. Yeah. For the whole family. That's cool. Oh, Struck him out. Grayson, he got him. Three up and three down for Grayson McNaughton, just the way you want it. Mm -hmm. We'll step aside and uh, move to the bottom of the first. We'll have Fenton Meyer, Owen Scorstead, and Andrew, the mauler, Menard, coming up for Hazen. You know, Sean's been shaking up that the lineup, and you know, I think he's looking for a, you know to balance it out with speed and contact. Uh, yep. And um, you know, Fenton just has such speed, so I, I understand that. And then to spread out, uh, I guess that's what you'd say. Try to level the lineup up. Right. Get him on and, yep. and get him running. Around. Yep. Exactly. this picture taken uh, my daughter's down in Morrisville right now it looks pretty threatening down there as well really because when I when I look this way it must be yeah yeah this is like uh, looking out from tractor supply down there oh boy yeah well, maybe we can get in they are coming from the south the radar that I saw they're gonna come up from the south they're gonna come right up the valley here so yep. right up through what do they call it Woodbury Gulf mm -hmm. But I think we got to get what five innings in, and it's a complete so. game. Oh, yep. I think that's what uh, Aaron was telling me before the game. Oof. So I'm watching this starting pitcher, and and he's got uh, quite a breaking ball going. So we'll see how the Wildcats react to that. Starting pitcher today for Randolph is a senior, Chase Higgins, and that is a name I remember from basketball. He's a good basketball player. Strolling to the plate now, Fenton Meyer. Boys have had a, a lot of games like this. We got another one here Thursday against Linden. Then they go on the road, what, Saturday to North Country. Back here Tuesday for senior night. Next Tuesday against Harwood. Then they go on the road, what, uh, to finish up the season Thursday up at uh, Lake Region. It's been a very busy schedule for mm. them. I know that. He had games, what, last week? Thursday, Friday, Saturday? Saturday, back to back, Friday, yeah. Saturday. That's pretty tough. Oh. Now, do you find. Sort of a double edged sword question here. I'll ask again between pitches. Okay. Strike, what, strike one right there? That was strike one. Yeah, Fenton swinging away. He's been having Fenton bunt quite a bit, but he's got him swinging right now. Oh, nice. That's hit right in there. Great job. Drops it behind the infield, in front of the outfield. Fenton Meyer on with a single. Now, when you play a game like that, I mean, obviously, you know, if you're in a groove, it helps to, pay, to play a lot to keep you in the groove. Mm -hmm. You know, if you're struggling, is it a good way to get out of the struggling? Or do you think it sometimes compounds it? Sometimes I think, you know, if you just go from loss to loss to loss, you know, and it was a tough... Tough spell there for him a while. Beauty, that they got him there. That out to the gap. Let's go, Myers coming around. He'll score on this one. Oh, they get or are they going to hold him up? They're going to wave him in. Here comes the throw. Get down, get down, get down, get down. He's under it. Oh, baby. <laughs> Beauty throw. <laughs> what a relay. Beauty throw from out there. I thought he just got underneath that one, but. That was from up here. I got a little loud there. That's fine. That's fine. On that one, sorry guys. Owen ends up with a double. <laughs> uh, Fenton thrown out at the plates. Oh, he. Yeah, that was a real. Piece he of was hitting. chugging. I was kind of surprised that they didn't hold him up. Yeah. But Sean maybe wanted to be aggressive and throw a run up there first right off here in the yeah. first inning. It takes a, a perfect throw and that relay it takes two perfect throws and yeah. That you know, was a sometimes that you can sneak one in. I, I think he was just under that, I thought, but I'm not going to argue with the call. No, perfect throw. 
Ooh. went down in the dirt. Oh, the catcher's part. So back to what you were saying, Lance, with the the games back to back, it's, yeah. you know, physically demanding on the boy, on the the guys, and mentally, mentally, everything is just a. Andrew gets a piece of that one. He wanted to, he wanted to hit that one hard. Yeah. I think he was sending that one over the hedgerow. And his Tanner Langlois, the sophomore for catch, playing catcher today for Randolph. It's a nice stop there on that one low pitch. Yeah, one and one. We'll see if Andrew can, if he's going to try to hit that gap. Oh, baby. I thought I, I see three over there. Is it three and one? I think it's three and one. Yes, it is three and one now. That, that pipe is. I think just... uh, Andrew have the green light to swing away at anything hittable? I would have him swing in. That's a ball. That's low. He's going to take ball four. But I'm, I'm looking at that big gap going into the wind. Yeah. So let's see what Dan does if he can capitalize on this curveball or just take one down the middle and. Danny D up. Only one out. Now I wonder if they would try a double steal here. It's early, but he gambled, so maybe Sean is like. Yeah. Whether he's going to be, you know. Yeah. The the riverboat gambler that Ron Rivera was when he was coaching the Carolina Panthers. Or, <laughs> yeah. And down at third. Good job. Good job. Owen steals third. So now. Runners at the corner. Yeah, now you know Andrew should be stealing here. And uh, the catcher's got to make a decision, but I'm pretty sure they should have Andrew stealing here. Nope. There he goes. He's trying to get the throw, but of yeah. course they're not going to. Good job, guys. It's time with the force is off. Right. I thought he would have tried to double steal on that last one. Yeah. Oh, good job blocking. Nice the play by Langlois. Yep. I think it's two and zero oh is the count. Here we go, Dan. Nope. Ball inside. That was okay. ball four. Wow. Those are Dan Jake Davison. Yeah. Here we go. There we go. Our big man up. I, uh, we have seen Jake hit it and hit it hard. Yeah. He certainly has. Sacrifice fly is, is still a run right here. All right. Coach out to talk to his pitcher. It's almost like he's overthrowing Higgins. Basketball, you know. Higgins in a little bit of trouble already here in the first with just one out, bases loaded, throwing a couple of walks, had a couple of steals, mm -hmm. some hits. You know, Fenton had the single, Owen had the double. Yep. Since then he's walked. A two. And a pretty dangerous hitter with Jake Davison coming up here. So I, I got to tell you, this show, this program is working so well because I got a shout out from Tom and Chris Myers. Big, there you when go. I said yeah. I hope his uncle tunes in. Yeah. And, it, and uh, yeah. Chris just sent me a text last week and, and said that she had watched it and thank you. That's <laughs> awesome. That's awesome. So, all right, Jake, let's see what we got here, buddy. Be patient, take your pitch. There it is, right down the middle, yep. I'm sure that Sean's got him swinging. Let's see if he brings a breaking ball or stays with the fastball. Stayed with the fastball, nothing. Uh, if you take a look at Owen, he's getting such a good jump off the third, off a of third base. You know, yeah. he's taking his lead, then he gets a secondary. And um, with this short back, you know, it's not a lot of room, but he yeah. has a lot of speed. So look at that creeping down the line. Mm -hmm. The only thing is well off. Yeah. The, the, the catcher could snap a throw. To third, yeah, third, and maybe catch, pick him off. Oh, and he could run like Tyler Revar did and just bolt for home if the catcher snaps that throw down. Tyler was almost invisible on the bases yeah. out there. Just an amazing base runner. Oh, Jake, there we go, bud. He wants that one back. Yeah. Yep. Two and two. Yep. Oh, Jake. oh, that one's hit high. Left fielder parks under it. Owen tags up. He's going to come home. Oh, what a throw. Man. Come on, Andrew. Oh. Good idea. I thought he was yeah. way off the mark with that. Yep. 
Owen scores. And we got runners at first and second, right? So what RBI. RBI for or sacrifice, excuse me, sacrifice, correct? Yeah, but he still gets an RBI out of He still does? Okay. That's one out, right, Lance? Two it should be that's two out. Fenton got thrown out that's right. at the plate. Yeah, you're right. So that's two out. I, I just the, the scoreboard the scoreboard is really obscured for me. Yeah. That's a strike. Uh Grace McNaughton. Yeah. Today's pitcher up. Let's see what Grayson can do with two outs. If needed, Justin Montgomery on deck. I wonder if they're gonna try stealing again here. No. Oh, Grayson laid off and then decided. He stayed in there for that curveball. That was a little high. Oh and two, yeah. I thought he was kind of swatting at it. Yeah. Now let's see as what the pitcher does. Does he go back to the fastball or that right field just looks so good. Oh, that was Andrew strolls into third. I guess they didn't see him or didn't want to attempt it. So runners at the corners. Ian's got to be going on this pitch, right? For you think two outs. I, I can't see that. There he goes. Oh, that was a good jump for Dan. Oh. I thought Grayson might take that and try to go opposite field with it. So we got two and two, two outs. Bottom of the first. Cats up one nothing as it stands right now. Hits Runners the second, runs. third. Oh, baby. That's all right. There we go. Struck him out. Went back to the fastball. Yep. So at the end of one is Hazen one, Randolph nothing off the uh, Jake Davison sacrifice fly that's brought in Owen Scorstead. So we'll go, go to the top of the second here at Hudson Fields where you're watching Hazen Union Wildcat baseball. That's baseball. <laughs> I said basketball one day, much to my embarrassment. Uh, and HCTV Channel 1080 and streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Our sponsors today, The Village Restaurant. Open 6 to 3 every day. Breakfast takeouts, breakfast and takeout all day. Check out the daily specials. And the Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, gmtcc.lnsc.org. Jumpstart your future. So we're down to our last two home games coming up here. I was just about to mention, I think we got, what, five games after today, Lance? And that's the end of the season. The end of the season, yeah. And end of the playoffs. Yeah, any plans for you this summer? I imagine work. Yeah. <laughs> A lot of that. But I'm still hoping you come and do my firewood, though. Uh, you know what? I'm going <laughs> to stop at mine and uh, rest up for fall when I've got to move it inside. I'm, I'm hoping that the viewers all start calling you. We're going to put your cell phone out there. Yeah. The general public. Firewood stacking party at Ivan Menard's yeah. house. Yeah. Bring your own gloves. Yeah. Refreshments served. You can you get some Kool-Aid or something, right? Sure. Yeah. Oh, nice throw down a second. I remember my uncle was one of the smartest men I knew. Whenever he wanted something torn apart or torn down at his house, like one time he wanted his back porch taken off. And of course, this was back in the days when you could burn stuff. Yep. He would get us a couple of two-liter Cokes, pound of bologna, loaf of bread, yep. and let us go at it with hammers and sledgehammers, and we could build this big bonfire and burn it. <laughs> and we would have at it all day long. There's nothing yeah. like getting a bunch of 10- and 12-year-old boys together with sledgehammers and saws and axes and everything and ripping something down. Family reunion, right? Yeah, we destroy everything. <laughs> Grayson starts off with a strike right down the middle. This is Quinlan Grace, a sophomore. Yeah. I th yes, Quinlan Grace. For the ghosts. It was three up, three down in the first. Fouls one back. Grace playing first base out in field today. I think we got Fenton in right and Owen in center and yeah. Dan in left field. So all high and outside. So Lance, I don't know if you can confirm this, but I was told today 
that Hayes and Union, the crass break there, strike three, nice pitch. Struck him out. Very nice yeah. pitch right there. Grayson throwing good today. So uh, the Hayes and Wildcats, the Crassbury Chargers, and the Lemoy, uh, the People Academy um, have formed a girls softball team. Really? Did, uh, I didn't. Had you heard anything about I, I know some of the girls are playing up in Craftsbury. I hadn't heard about PA being involved. It's, it could be. You know, I think previously, didn't uh, your daughter play down at PA, right? She did. Yeah. Maddox Sulls. Oh, nice pitch there. Um, I know the girls played up at Crashbury, played softball with Crashbury yeah. this year. Um, as far as PA being involved in that, I do not know about that. Um, it, it could very well not possibly be. Pitch. No, so I, I just didn't know if you had heard anything. Yeah, we have had a. a, a Oh God! I think it was four or five girls played up with Crassberry. Yeah, because Casey McAllister was the first one that I was aware. Right. Strike three, right there. Two straight strikeouts. Yeah. For Grayson. Grayson is coming into it. And this brings up Ethan Davignon, a senior. Should be playing center field out in the field. Looks like they got quite a few seniors. This, this, uh, the visiting team. Right. One, two, three. I got four seniors. Four seniors. Four seniors. Four seniors. Yep. That I know of. I, I didn't have anything on, on Bascom. I don't know what grade he is. He wasn't on their regular roster, but he was on their lineup. Uh, so he could be could be another one, but th that I know of, okay. you know. Oh, that one, I think, got away from him there. Yeah, because Lindsay played down at, at PA, and I think yeah. uh, Casey played down at PA. Yeah, Casey McAllister, yeah. Lindsay, and then... Um, uh, Jake's sister Olivia. Right. She went down to the fabulous. She played with Lindsay. Yeah. There's more. There's more players that I know of. That I, the two that I know. I think Sadie Scorsett. I think is playing up at Crossbury, yeah. and uh, yeah. I know Sarah Collier's playing up there. And I want. There's a couple more, and I apologize to the girls for not knowing who they are. I'll try and get them for the next game. Oh, that's right back to the pitcher. McNaught knocks it down. Nice job. Nice Beautiful. Job. Three up and three down. That was a really good inning for Grayson. Same, uh, same as in the first inning, so he's mm -hmm. making short work today of the Randolph starting lineup. Coming up for Hazen this inning as we move to the bottom of the second. We have uh, Justin Montgomery and Jake Hayden and Landon Miller. Now, uh, Jake Hayden hit the ball very well. He had the, the two... Um, RBI is up in Fairfax. Good for him. Yeah. He he hit a ball in the left field and the crowd just erupted. Huh. I think it I don't know if it was his first hit of the season or what it was, but it was uh, a lot of fun to watch. It was a great game even though we went you know, know. we didn't come home with a victory. It was yeah. four two, but it was still I don't think I've been up to Fairfax since oh wow. Joey was maybe a senior playing soccer. Junior or senior. Oh. Nice ride up through there. Yeah, that is, yeah. I don't remember if I said that's the last time, but I always enjoyed the ride up through to Richford. Or yeah. Venus oh, I love the ride to Richford. Eden over. That's just beautiful. I love the ride to Richford. But, oh. And Enosburg is nice as well. Yeah. Oh, there's a... Either one of those places where I like to go, Ivan, where, you know, of course, I leave from the bend. Yep. So I feel a raindrop. Yeah, I think it's. Uh, I usually stay south. Though. I usually go up uh, to Orleans, take 58 over Lowell Mountain, and keep going right through Hazen's Notch, yeah, come out in Montgomery in that way. What a ride that is! Has anybody ever heard about you, you drop a turtle on the ground, a rain turtle, and you dance around it, and it's not supposed to rain? Is anybody? I have not heard that. I think there's an old... Uh, Lorraine came prepared. She's getting her shelter out over there. You draw a skunk on the ground? Yeah. A real skunk. A real skunk. <laughs> Montgomery, I could, I could get us a real... I know where there's a dead skunk, not yeah. in the middle of the road, but on the side of the road, first pitch low. Yeah. Just past the Mitchett farm up there. It's been there for a couple of days now. It might be a little ripe to bring down here. Yeah. Justin digging in, takes up that ball. Let's we'll see what he Ooh, gets some speed going. Chopped in the third. Uh, that's oh. going to go foul. That was a smart play on the third baseman. Yeah, let's let it go. 
could have charged in and tried. I thought he was going to grab it, but I, I think he... Uh, What's Lorraine do? Bring her own bubble over there? Uh, yep. Wow. Huh. The lady is prepared. She sure is. <laughs> I wonder if it's an Airbnb, a new Airbnb. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah, nice. All right, what do we got here? One and one? Oh, Justin, there we go. Yeah, that looked like one to hit right there. It's so hard because initially, you know, they're thinking, well, it's out of the strike zone, and then if yeah. you can't pick up the rotation. That one dropped in beautiful. It's a nice, lazy curve. Goes back to the curve again, but. Down in the dirt on that one. Hazen up one zip, courtesy of uh, Jake Davidson's fly ball there in the first. Oh, there we go, Justin. Straight back, there he goes. Bounces around, shortstop's gonna come up with it. Jake's on. You know, Justin has a lot of speed. He does. But he hit that ball sharply, so yep. he was just out of the box when, when the third baseman was playing that ball. Now, how many was scoring on that? Would that be scored an error or a misplay That's or an just error. an error? Yep. Now, who is it? I'll ask this question once we, once we get a pitch in here. I'm going to show off my lack of baseball knowledge here. Jake, yep. Jake takes who is it that decides it's an error? As opposed to just a bobbled ball. Oh, the scorekeeper. The scorekeeper kind of does? Yeah. But I didn't know if the umpire had, you know, nope. any say in it, than just the scorekeeper. Oh, nice cut by Jake. He was looking down the third baseline a little bit. He's been hot at mm -hmm. the plate, so. Jake is senior. Uh, no. Did you oh. think Jake's a senior? No, did I? Do I have it wrong? Oh, we're stealing. Oh, foul back. Hit and run was on. That ball went behind us. I have Jake Hayden as a senior. I thought he was a junior, but either way, yeah. Let me let me look on the official roster I that I have be, here. Uh, really mistaken. I'm pretty sure he's a junior. He had the hit and run on. I'll see if she, I don't think Sean. Will, maybe he'll, he's going again. No no throw. No no attempt to throw. Hmm. Oh, he's a sophomore. Okay, yeah. What was I, what was I looking? I, him, I already made him. A, you've made him two years. I was yeah. Year All right. So we, yeah, we're, we're going the sophomore. Okay. Yeah, Jake is one and two. I don't know what I was looking at when I got him as a senior. Oh, baby, that was high. Now I'd be interested. Might have had him mixed up with Jake Davison. Yeah. Because Jake Davison is a senior. Yeah. I think I was looking at the wrong Jake. Okay. All right, sophomore, Jake Hayden. I'm sure if Sean would try to. So we Justin stole second. Justin, but he would have to get a very good jump. Three and two, full count, two and two. No one's trying to hold him. Oh, nice cut by Jake. <clears throat> Struck him out, Landon Miller up. <clears throat> then we go back to the top of the lineup with Fenton Meyer. We got one down. One down. Yep. I guess I should bring a notepad for myself too. I'm doing my best to, no, to keep it's up with things. Yeah. Too. Yeah. There's that bunt. Nope. He had the right idea though. You know, he was pushing it. Yeah. To, you know, because the third baseman has to decide. No one can get there. You know, the third baseman should be covering his bag. Right. But it's a hard, you know with what I mean? Justin on second, yeah. See if he squares the bun again. Oh, he's swinging away. Another curveball to him. Left-handed batter. He's a couple yeah. of steps closer to first. You know, it's a great bunning strategy there. Just slap the ball to the left side, and you're, like I said, you're already two steps ahead of everybody else. Way it was behind. a runner down to third. Yep. Justin so absurd. Yeah. I wish Justin wouldn't look at the. <laughs> <laughs> He's hustling down there. He always looks at the throw. And Landon. Sean's like, I'll, I'll, I'll watch that for you. <laughs> Landon strikes out. Yeah. Makes it two out here. Bottom of the second. 
We got Justin Montgomery on uh, third, Fenton Meyer up. Fenton singled on his first. Oh. And there's a strike foul. Over into the crowd. Nope, on the bank. Benton's making good contact. Yeah, I was going to say, he's stroking out here. First at bat and this one right away. Excuse me, jumping on that pitch, first pitch. See if Fenton can straighten this out. That right fielder's a little shallow, but. Yeah, he is definitely. And there's a pretty good gap between right and center. Yeah. I think after that shot by Owen, they were like, oh boy. And uh, it still does leave a big hole out there to push it through. Back to the fastball. Uh, he, he reared back on that one, Lance, and put a little more pepper on it. Two and two. Two outs. Bottom of the second, number 22 at the plate. A lot of twos out there right now, Evan. There is. Oh, inside, up on the hands. Ball three. Three and two, full counts. Here we go. Right oh, at the third baseman. Look at that speed. Nice Glad job. Glad to drive off. Fenton's going to take second. Yep. So Justin scores. Good job, Fenton. Now, is that rule a double for Fenton or? No, no. Extra base. On. Single with an extra base. Yeah. Did, I don't know if you noticed it, but that right fielder came all the way in. Did mm -hmm. you see that? And yeah. He actually stopped the that overthrow. He didn't keep it in play, but boy, that kid hustled. Owen scores that doubled in the first inning. That went high. The ball did not go for him. Let's see if Owen can connect here and drive in another run. There we go, baby. Come on, come on. And second baseman up. Throw over. Oh, nice job. First baseman dropped the ball. Sean was Sean was playing it safe on yeah. Fenton, right? And uh, I, Fenton was at third when the throw was made, so it was. So Owen singles. Score. Nice job. Owen gets an RBI out. Oh, no, no RBI. I'm sorry. Brings up uh, Andrew Menard. Now Owen should be stealing here automatically. And Andrew. Yeah, with two be outs. To ball low. Oh, it's still second. I did not like the looks of that right over there. I think it's going. Uh, Andrew takes another one low. Andrew's been striking the ball extremely well. <clears throat> it seems to be going directly to where they are. Ah, uh, yeah. You know, that's the only downer. Let's see what he does here. Runners the second, third. Number Catch third trying. Ball. No, stays with a three and oh. Doing their best with that two out rally here. Yep. So now it's hard if he's going to have them swinging away. Two outs, two runners on. Yeah. Do you want to get another runner? Or, you know, uh, you yeah, know draw the walk looking. and bring up Dan, yeah. you know. But you know this pitch has to be down the middle. So you had him looking the whole way. All right. And now it's back on. So this, he's got to bring another one. But does he go to a curveball or stay with the fastball? And Andrew gets a big cut there. Oh, yeah. Big cut. So three and two. Yep. Oh. Right to the first Come baseman, on, knocks it down. Come on. Nobody there to throw to. Nobody went over the pitcher, didn't go over the. Oh. I mean, he wasn't even out of the bat yeah. watching that ball. Connected with the first base. Why did no one go to first? To well, that was a bang bang. I yeah. mean, like I said, that that ball was to the first baseman before yeah. he could even get out of the box. That was, and the pitcher was maybe uh, a two outs. Andrew should be running here automatically. The, I don't even think the catcher's made a throw down to first yet. I don't think he has either. Dan, they had a hit and run on there. 
With two outs, you gotta go. All right, so two outs, three zip, Hazen. Yeah. Come on, Dano. Swirling wind coming up here. Yeah. yeah. It's better over there. That's trouble. No big field that is going to go to first. Goes first. Hey. Goes by. So Owen scores. Hey, Andrew scores. Overthrow again to first. Dan goes into second. Four zip Hazen as the wheels are coming off of the galloping ghosts here. A lot of throwing errors here. Yeah, they threw the ball around and just coming out, making some changes. Yep. As they're hitting him pretty good too. And with Jake Davison coming up, I don't yeah. uh, another solid hitter. Somebody's not very happy over on the other side. It's okay. All right. That is a steady breeze. Mm -hmm. From the south. Yeah. Which, I don't know. Kind of. Were you up here last year for that the first girls soccer game against Virgins when that straight line wind came through over there and started taking trees down? No. That, we have video of it on the HCTV page. They ended up calling the game. They had to. This straight line, you could hear it roaring through the trees up here. And you look behind the backstock over there and stuff, you could see a couple of those big pines coming down. Yeah. The video is on the HCTV page. It was, it was insane. And then as it went by, you could hear it going up past here, up towards like Bridgman. I've never been in anything like that in my life. Really? It, you could hear it roaring before it got here. Once it got here, it was just insane. We were over underneath the pop-up. We're all hanging onto the pop-up to keep <laughs> that from blowing away. Airborne, right? You get a yell yeah. airborne and go with it, right? It was, it was, I, I've never, never experienced anything like that. It looks like they brought their right fielder in to throw Lance. I could be wrong. I, I don't Number 11, yeah, that's Riley Lyford, a senior who was playing right. You were, yeah. I in there so. now, yes. So, after Hazen torches Chase Higgins for four runs mm. through two innings so far, they chase him off. They're going to bring in Lyford. I always think of Lyford Pond. Yeah. Up there in Walden Heights. Yep. See, Jake is going to face this new pitcher. Dan on at second. That was high. Hi. This guy's tall. It looks like Randy Johnson out there. He is a big. He looks like a cross between Randy Johnson and Rocky Balboa. I know. He's he got some guns on him. Get down, Dan. Nice job. Be safe. Oh. They're going to call him out. Oh. Was it after he popped up off the bag? Maybe. Oh. Thrown out. Ben, he's, he was caught stealing, as Jane's addiction says. So it's the end of the second where the Cats go up for zip. Here today from Hudson Fields at Hazen Union High School in Hardwick, Vermont. You are watching Hazen Wildcat Baseball here on HCTV channel 1080 on your cable dial, streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Our sponsors today, The Village Restaurant, open six to three every day, breakfast and takeout all day. Check out the daily specials. And uh, Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, gmtcc.lnc.org, jumpstart your future. Michael on tech, art on camera, Ivan Bernard providing the fam fabulous commentary today. <laughs> Lance Hall, I'm playing tag along today. Playing tag along. Playing tag along. I say hop along here. Hop along. So the cats so far looking, you know, the, we're looking good. We're hitting the ball, striking well. But uh, on the other side too, Randolph has had a lot of throwing errors out there in the in the, yeah. in the fields. That last inning didn't. Look pretty rough on him. Yeah. But I mean, this is, you know, it, it just, like I said before, each game we just seem to 
bring a different team onto the field. And I think it's confidence. I think it's working together more. And uh, everybody getting comfortable in their role and their position. So. All right, this brings up uh, down to the bottom of the lineup now. Uh, number seven spot, Bo Tucker, a freshman. Or no, this is number 25. Who is number 25? The tall oh. kid, big strikes on. Yeah, I got to I gotta look. They must looks like they may have subbed somebody in here. Starts off with a strike right there. Try and get a name on this. Let me go to the. Let me go to my device. Got his bat on the shoulder there. I don't have my towel. They dried them off. All right, this is a. Uh, I don't have a first name, but the last name is Brissett. Brissett. Whoops, that one got away from Grayson there. Look at that. Either two and one or three and one, Lance. Let's see if he's on their roster. I got sort of an incomplete roster. Grayson going from the windup. Oh, another nice place. I don't have it on the roster. So Long we'll go with the. Uh, nice place. Nice placement. Brissett. I, uh, I said in a stretch, he's going from the wind up. Sorry. There's strike three. Nice job, Grayson. He's got several strikeouts yeah. accumulating here. Uh, one, two, three, four Ks so far. Connor Hurley, a senior up now for Randolph. Yeah, four strikeouts on the day so far mm -hmm. for Grayson. Uh, it's been three up, three down through the uh, first two innings. And the first two, uh, first batter here struck out as well. Nice pitch. Very nice, Grayson. That was a good job. You know, Grayson composes himself very well, too. He I'll does. He carries himself very well. There's another good one. Ooh. Sharply foul ball. So out ahead. The backstop there. Out ahead of Hurley, 0 and 2. Yeah. Here in the top of the third. Cats up five zip. They got five, uh, four runs in that last inning, so they're up five zip. Ooh, that one, that was what they call a good miss right there, Lance. That was just out of the strike zone. That'd been hard for me to lay off as a batter. So one and two. That's a oh, playable Wes Andrews ball. A lot of wind, but. One handed catch. Around the horn, the boys are getting used to that today. Oh, yeah. Chase Higgins started as a pitcher today. Got taken out back there in the uh, bottom of the second. See what he can do at the plate. First time at the plates. Oh, that's right. Yep. They have yet to, uh, this is the bottom of their order. Just high. Is he the, in the nine spot, Lance? Yes, he is. Senior for the Galloping Ghosts. Beauty. Chopper. Jake down. Throw over Jake to Jake. Nice. Bang, bang, bang. Another one, two, three. Yep. I'll get Hazen to step back on the gas pedal here and uh, put some more runs up there. We have uh, Grayson coming up, uh, Justin Montgomery, and Jake Hayden in this yep. inning. As Hazen has hit through once and working on twice. Bottom of three, and right now the weather is. Yeah, it's kind of. Operating with us. A little bit. So I got a little worried there for a moment. There was a lot of wind there for a moment. It certainly was. I, I couldn't even hear. So. And you know we got a we got a pretty good crowd here today. Yeah, it's a nice day. Folks on the field. Looks like a decent contingent come up from Randolph as well. Nice ride up uh, yeah. 91 to 14 to here. Uh, I had a pleasant drive. Like I said, I came up through there from uh, Killington this afternoon with uh, Lydia. What was she doing down there, Lance? Uh, she was going to college. Oh. Uh, through the uh, 
Castleton has a uh, satellite there at the at the Killington Resort. They teach they do a hospitality course there. Oh. So she's right there at the resort learning. They got a classroom there, and nice. They do it all right there, and uh, yeah, just completed their freshman year of college as she's completing her senior year of high school. She did the early college thing. Nice. And uh, yeah. Yeah, Lindsay did the same program. Yeah. Last year she did a program down at GMTCC uh, mm -hmm. that really jump-started her future. She had a ball. She had a ball with it. Highly recommend it. Mm-hmm. All right. The opportunities today seem to be, and I don't want to sound like my father, but the opportunities today are, just seem to be so much better or more options for the kids. Yeah. Jake. Jake, Jake Davison up. Oh, sorry, I had, to, I, had a, I had a miscue there in the last one. Jake up here to lead off the uh, third. This pitcher should be built for Jake. Yeah. He's got the right speed. As hard as he throws and as hard as Jake can hit, yeah, yep. <laughs> they connect. It's going to be a uh, It's going to be a shot. Yeah. Jake's a big boy, too. There it is. It's all right. Nice swing there. TJ, his father, is on the coaching staff, too, yep. helping out with Keep the book. Just a bunch of knowledge in the game, too. Life or delivers. Oh, baby. I thought he might go with that one. Here we go, Jake. Are you good? I think he's going to get there, Lance. I think so, too. Good job, Jake. Good heads up. Good heads up baseball. Now, how was that scored? Pass ball? I believe so. Drop third strike. So I just put this together. Jake is in Jake Davison's batting nine. Right? No. OK, I got, I got that all messed up. Jake's batting fifth. I'm. Oh, uh, it's me. That's all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, with, with missing Jake. Yep. Um, to lead off the inning kind of threw me all off. So now we got our sixth batter, Grayson. Then yeah. seven, Justin, and eight is yeah, I, Jake Hayden. Yeah, I was Hayden. going off of the old. Uh, I, yeah, I'm, and I'm missing up my and I'm messing up my Jakes again. Wow, that's a popular name on our team. It is. Whoa, hi. Oh, hi. Lance, I don't believe it, but you see what that is over there to our. All right. The sun is out. <laughs> Big round ball of fire. Grayson. Swinging for the fences on that one. Yeah. He was back on his uh, on his heels on that for some reason. I don't know if it was more of an inside pitch on him. Oof. There, that's down. Right down. Oh, that's drop down. Good. That's a nice piece of batting right there. Mm. Squared that one off. McNaughton singles, moves Davison to second and brings up Justin Montgomery. Now what do you do, Lance? Are we swinging away? Are we trying some small ball? No outs. Get out of the force. No outs. Yeah. Yeah. Don't want to hit into a double play. No. Let's see what Justin does here. Good eye, Justin. Going oh, high. Going high pitch. John's giving a lot of signals over there. Let's see what, uh, if there's anything in there for the sign language for him. Yeah, we've talked about that. Yeah. Nobody's going. Oh, that one didn't break soon enough for him. What's that, 3-0? and Yeah. 3-0. and Well, you know, he's probably got him holding here. Right, load up the bases. Load the bases up. Someone was in his eyes and went there.
3 0 pitch to Montgomery. Oh, Loads the bases. Have another uh, for our sophomore, Jay Caden. I think we should going to see another pitch. Going to see another pitching change. I was just about to say, you know what I mean, right? With Jake coming up, you know, you want to be patient and see a pitch. Right. And, uh, the coach is deciding to throw it. So Lifer doesn't last all that long. And he's going to switch, and it's this Jackson Bascom that's up now. Who I, I have no, I have no grade for this young man. Good posture, good pop on his pitches. So. Yeah. See what happens. And we get no outs, right, Lance? No outs. Five nothing. Base is loaded. Bottom of the third. So we got a big weekend coming up in Hardwick. Lance. Yeah, Memorial Day weekend, always big. Parade. Parade. The uh, do we do the fireworks still on Saturday night? I think they are this year. I haven't heard any different, but chicken barbecue down at uh, Atkins Fields. Tristan Southworth game tournament. On yeah. Tournament. Yeah, I'm, I'm bumming. I'm bumming. I can't. I used to go up, of course, and you know announce for that. But with my work schedule now, I can't. But oh, I'll uh. I'll tell you, the first couple of years I did that, you know, was, I remember talking with you and, and when you guys marched that honor guard in, mm. you know, there's a, a heaviness and a reverence to that, that, you know, really strikes you when you're there. Mm. So be the first year they miss it i gotta go be a, a pallbearer at a, a very very good friend of mine ah, sorry to hear that yeah, gentleman i deployed with great great man yeah but just didn't. so anyways i won't be going to the tournament this yeah. year i believe they got uh, i know one year they had john lucia do it who i who yeah have john's first rate you know mm -hmm. yeah. first rate oh, takes one inside yeah that tournament has been going on for for a while now several years yeah and uh yeah I, I was completely honored to be asked to, to be a part of it and uh if i had to work schedule i, I would do it again in a second you know yeah. done it for many 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 years oh jake makes contact here he's gonna get an rbi you know takes the lead run takes the force it's all right yeah that's all right still making contact and you know tristan and, and our community you know, you can just look around in any ball field, and it's here because, you know, the batting cage, the putting up the number four, you know, his number, up, yeah. and then to go up to the little league field and, you know, up behind home plate, it's just, like you say, it's uh, a respectful and absolutely heavy, you know, at the same time, but it's still just resonates with the community. So, you know, even even all these years later, you know, Landon Miller at the plot. We could just one out now, Ivan. I, I think I'm seeing Yeah, one out. Yeah. So one out, base is loaded for Miller. Bottom of the third. Cats up five zip. Wind blowing what, in or sort of left to right, or right to left. There's the Scores bunt. up to bunt. Get down. Oh, I thought he was safe. I, I thought he pulled his foot. I think Grayson's kind of disagreeing with it. Mm -hmm. uh, I gotta be careful what I say here. Yeah. <laughs> Back to the top of the order. Fenton Meyer with two outs and bases loaded. Meyer so far today has singled twice. If he'd got that bunt up the third baseline, everybody would have been safe. But two outs. That was that was not a bad bunt. He just yeah. didn't get it to go up the line. 
and Grayson was getting a, a tremendous jump on that other, coming down that third base. Yeah, line. I mean, the time the pitcher got it, Grayson was practically there. Yeah. Let's see what Fenton does here. Make some contact, a couple RBIs. Man, that was this fast. Picture, when he reels back, when he loads up and sends it, he's sending in a, a pretty good little pitch there. Checking the runners. Nope, they're not even holding on second. That's a strike. Yep. He's got a, a faster curveball. Yeah. Uh, I think Fenton's going to put the bat on the ball right here, Lance. The pitch. Nope. And the dirt. Oh, the catcher. Get down, get down. He's safe. He's safe. Okay. So Justin scores. Good speed. Good hustle. I finally got a call right, though. He was safe. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> and it wasn't even all that egregious. So. For, I love that, by the way. Yeah, that's a great, yeah. <laughs> so for what it's worth, the force is out, right? I mean, does, or does that even really matter? The force well, play's gone now. Two outs, yeah, there's there's no force, but I like this, it's still, you know, two and two, so the kid's got to bring it to him. Yeah. And then open, we get some contact. That's strike three. Yep. And Fenton strikes out. And that'll retire the side. Uh, but we put another run on the board, make it six zip. We had some good innings. The first inning we got, uh, what do we got? One, two, three, four, six batters up. Mm -hmm. Seven up in the second. And six there in the third. Whereas for Randolph, they're finally back to the top of their lineup. Going into the fourth, it's been one, two, three innings. For them, and I'm in short innings of that. We barely get the the uh, reset here, and uh, they're bringing it up. The good thing to that is that Grayson isn't having to throw a lot of pitches. No. You know, between the leather and him, you now keeping the ball in the strike zone. Yeah, four strikeouts on the day so far. So Tanner Langlois, the catcher, who's a sophomore, who we haven't seen him making a whole lot of throws from the catching position. You know, they haven't really a, gone, they've been very unaggressive with him. Do you think it's youth and inexperience or? Well, you know, we're almost running, for, not freely, but you're yeah. right. I, I was thinking about that, yeah, I, I considering to bring it up. Um, but I, I think you're right. I think it's a reset year, probably. Randolph. And, uh, and we don't know how long he's been a catcher either, you know? True. He's got a good throw, but for, that should be catchable, Andrew. There we go. Called Justin off, came in and made the play. All right, now we get uh, Lyford. Or Bascom, excuse me, Bascom. Jackson Bascom up, uh, the latest Randolph pitcher, who, from what we've seen, had some pretty decent heat out there. Mm -hmm. I went high. high. Yeah. Strike two. Up there, but. We'll take it as a still a straight. Well and high. And you you know you're right. 
It's a little after uh, five o'clock now, Lance, and the crowd's getting a little bit bigger. Mm -hmm. Everybody coming home from work, sure, stopping yeah. in at the game. That went way high. Three and one. You know, I was thinking about your sponsors of the game and I got hungry again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I hear you. There we go. Whoa, That's whoa. tough. I was, I was gonna say, that ball was kind of squirreling around there. That has some topspin, some English on it. It certainly did. That ball was going right to the line and hit like a, it was spinning like a top. It must have came right off the end of the bat or something. So that was the, that's the first hit on the day for Randolph. That was another thing I was tracking and yeah. I didn't want to jinx it for yeah. Grayson. But no, I wasn't tracking it. I just kind of realized yeah. it. Oh, he tries. Good move. Well, I had a, I had a pretty decent... Uh, Buffalo chicken sandwich from uh, Kelly's and Market for lunch. So I'm still kind of full right now. Oh, check kind of a check swing, yeah. Come on, come on, turn it. That was. It's all right. I think that was Andrew's bag, but he was going the other way. I think that's what he was saying to Justin. You know, my bad, but because um, Andrew would come through the play. Where Justin has to make that plane yeah. throw across his body. So. Now we got another uh, player up here. I think this is another sub. We'll take the out. Is this number 24? 34. 34. Who's 34? Is this leadoff? No, it's not leadoff. That one's low. No. Uh, I'm going to go with Shangran here. Mm -hmm. I can't always read the uh, writing on these lineup cards too well, but I'm going to go with Shan Grant. Whoa. Grayson took a little off of that. I think that was a changeup, and it must have just missed outside. <laughs> now, if you watch the runner at first base when he takes his lead, Lance, he takes his lead a little more towards right field. You're not supposed to take a lead straight off the bag. Okay. Um, because of the way the tag is coming. You're more in line with the tag. That was a nice pitch right. on the side again. And he looks, you know, I just caught him there. But. And there's our, there's the sun again. Yeah. We are gonna. We may, we may luck out. Whoop, that that one's high. Okay, so we walk Shangren. And we have number 12. Maddox Sauls. And this is his second time. In. Yep, struck out the first time. Davignon on back door there. Davignon on deck. That's a good pitch. Yep. Nice great job. If needed, two outs. Top of the fourth. Cats up six zip. He's thinking. Hey, it's the ice cream truck. Oh, that should. You got to hustle in, Justin. Come on, kid. Good job. And he's up. Yeah, another good inning. Lance Ivan, who's got cash? Who's <laughs> got cash? Uh, you know, yeah, I was nice a kid. Lance will uh, admit to this. Like, in the. Uh, up in Brockton. I know I'm not supposed to say that out loud. Oh, yeah. I mean, but, uh, uh, I'm digging for money. <laughs> I want to support the high school kids too over there. So. Uh, yeah, what do you want? Yeah, what uh, do you want? How about a. Are we still recording? Yeah. Oh, well. <laughs> yeah, but Ivan, it's the ice cream truck. Yeah. All bets are off. <laughs> All bets are off. 
Uh, something chocolate, like a chocolate eclair or something like that, you know? Uh, strawberry shortcake, please, I guess, if they have one. Then everybody can listen to me smack on. Yeah, exactly. We're all gonna we're gonna get ice cream here. So I remember Brockton, the, down in the city, right? Yeah. Growing up on in Brockton, you could hear the ice cream truck come. Oh yeah, a couple blocks over. Yeah, and you know, you and I were old enough to yeah. we're Eddie Murphy delirious. Oh. The ice cream man is coming. Just like that. You know, everybody yeah. would yell at you. Like, Give me some money. Nice. Throw me some money. Yeah. <laughs> so everybody would run, and I, you know, it's just like he explained. It, you know, you swear that guy just drove that truck. Yeah. Let's see yeah. how far these kids will go. Same way for me. I mean, when I was young, we lived in New London, Connecticut, down yeah. there, and the same deal. You hear the ice cream man on the next street, and uh, yeah, everybody was after it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Of course, back then, your mother could throw you four quarters and you'd get ice cream for everybody, you know? Yeah, I remember when penny candy costs a dime. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I should have said it's it true. to see if you were really busy uh, <laughs> then. Uh, huh. Yeah. Whoa. Now, there's... I, we, is that a different catcher, Lance? Oh, I can't because see a number. Because down a second looked a lot different than... What we have. Yeah, I can't see a number through his. Uh, I can't see a number through his yep. gear there. We'll have to try and pick up on that if we can see it somehow get a number. But uh, yeah, he, he looks a little bit bigger. Owen Scorsese up to lead off the fourth inning. Cats up six zip. That was just high. That, that catcher during warm up, he just sent down a good three. Yeah. That's a ball. Jackson Bascom still on uh, the mounds. We're assuming the cameras are still angled in here. If not, well, just listen in. We'll tell you what's happening. Yeah, Art and Mike, they bailed. As soon, yeah. as, they, you know, as, soon as they saw the ice cream truck, they were all over that. They uh, sliced. Is that a sliced foul? Yeah, so something like that, it, I still have to wonder, you know, given his skills, you know, is he holding back and trying to push it opposite field? That's how I feel he is. See, did it solid? Play? Yeah. And he gets a cherry over off. to first. Yep. But look how sharply that ball was hit. Yeah. Two times in a row trying to go opposite field because he's got the power. And if you look how, you know what I mean? It, it just. Andrew the Mauler Menard. Thank you. As we, uh, thank you very much. As we uh, try and chomp on our ice cream while we make the call here. I'm gonna hold off and focus on my son here and see what he does. And takes a strike. Oh, that was. Uh... Thank you, sir. Thank you, gentlemen, for getting this for us. Oh, Lance, we're doing total opposites here. Yeah. Andrew goes opposite. You? Yeah. he better get on his wheels, though. That oh, he's gonna oh, take out of that. Oh, made contact. Now is that he interference? Get out of it if they send him. You better get on those wheels. Oh, he made contact. He should get the bag. Now he's but he should because they send him home. Right. I don't know if anybody saw that. So I did too. Made contact with the first baseman going around there. I don't know what that's called, but uh, I was just saying. Yeah. How is that score? You know, I don't know, Lance. Um, you know what we need is a call-in hotline. Mike, what do you what do you say? Then you know, <laughs> you know what I'm going to call it. I'm going to call it an inside the park home run. As runner interference. With runner interference. An overthrow from the outfield. Right. That went out of play, so that's an extra base there. So he he. Ooh, boy, he hauled back on that. One. Cats up seven zip. Dan DeGrosley are at the plate. Mike says absolutely not for the hotline. Ivan, did you watch the Simpsons? Not often anymore. Do you remember when Bart would call Morris? No. Frank called the bar. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. That's what it would be. Uh, you're right, I didn't think about that. Yeah, can you, imagine, can you imagine the calls we would get? Yeah. They would tell, tell your Ivan to settle down. Dano with a nice swing there. Nice swing. Hey, 
Oh, baby. Struck him out. Just on the inside corner. So two outs, Jake Davison up. Uh, nobody on base. Bottom of the fourth, catch up seven zip. And we're all eating ice cream. Oh, we do have two outs, yeah. We, yeah. My wife is going, where was mine, right? Oh, Deaker. Nice try. Yeah, Owen had the chopper up to first to uh, lead off the mm -hmm. inning. Well, it's not the village restaurant, but. No, but it tastes good. <laughs> oh, Jake, yep. It seems, it looks to me like the pitcher is getting a little more speed and a mm -hmm. little bit better control as he gets comfortable out there. But Jake is built for this kid, too, so. Oh, that one got away from him. Maybe I should keep talking. Good eye, Jake. Goes from high to low. Uh, it'd be interesting to see if Jake tries to go opposite field, too. Uh, with the last two batters going that way. And there it is, right in the middle. Nice job. That was hit sharp. right up through the middle of the infield. I'm good, thank you. Oh. I get my sleeve. Thank you. That was delicious. All right, here we have one. Now let's see if Grayson can <laughs> turn on the ball. Grayson and, McNaughton. You know, with Justin. Down you know, low. We have a very strong batting order. Mm -hmm. there, there's not, you know, there's not a lot of rest for the opposing pitcher no. in our lineup. And and we've been, you know, once again, this is the fifth fifth batter to come to the plate this inning. Mm -hmm. mm. Big cut. Just off right. Kind of jammed him there a little. Is that, is that what you call a jam? Nice breeze today. That was blowing the opposite way. I don't know where that is coming from. It's Me either. Nice clear. There we go. Rip the middle again. Yep. Another ripper. Jake is going to. Good job, Grayson. Nice piece of hitting again. So Justin Montgomery. Two out rally here for the Cats. Runners at first and second. What's Sean asking here? I think we're going to see a pinch hitter, pinch batter. Oh, pinch runner. Look at that. Okay. Have Elliott run for Jake. A little bit of speed out there. A lot of speed. Is that a number five on the back of the... If that's a number five on the back of there, that's Quinlan Grace that I, I think I'm seeing on the back of that catcher's... I remember... That he, he was he, said that he was earlier. playing first earlier. Oh, but they've kind of you know moved a lot of people around when they made those pitching changes too. I think we have. That's a good pitch. Just see that. Now with Elliott at second and Grayson at first, be interesting to see what goes on here. Is he a lot of speed? Double steal. There's speed at both bags right there. I'm, I'm got two outs though. Oh, inside. 
Yep. I mean, I, I, Ivan, I know nothing about baseball. What are we talking? Hit and run, obviously, maybe? You wouldn't do a double steal with two outs, would you? Well, I, I thought that he might try to steal, but I can't see the count, so there's a strike. I got uh, two and two. Two and two? He might be going here. Or it might be two and one. Oh, I think I see two and one. If it over was a this. full count, obviously everybody would be on their horses. Yeah, but I believe it's two and one. If I'm looking through the through the mesh right there on the fence. Mm -hmm. That's straight three. Oh, I guess it wasn't two and two. Two and two. Oh. Now we got two and two. Okay. So I have a pretty wild story for you in between innings to share with you, All right. if it's a good time. That's a ball. Justin is working the count here. Yeah. So now everybody's going. Three and two, yeah. Two outs, full count. And I would love to see Justin make some contact with all this speed on the bases and his speed. Ooh. Right in the grill, that catcher is. He's fine. Got his bell rung a little bit. Yeah. He's fine. Umpire checked on him. We still should be going. Oh, ball four. All right. Justin draws the walk. Mm -hmm. Jake Hayden. You say he had a couple of big hits against Lamoille the other day? Uh, Fairfax. Fairfax, okay. He um, had both RBIs. It was time two that were lost for us again, but. Um, time for another one then. Bases yeah. loaded. And he made contact earlier. There's a good laid off on that one. <laughs> Sean is. Sean Allen over there coaching his batter. Here we go. Another ball. 2-0. and oh. oh. Lance, we might be seeing another pitching change. Man, the Randolph coach not afraid to swap pitchers at a moment's notice, is he? Or maybe he's just going to have a meeting at the yeah. time. Once again, this is Jackson Bascom on the mound right now. As of the moment, the third pitcher in the game for the uh, Galloping Ghosts. Leaving him in. Yep. It might have been just something to break up the mix and say, hey, boys, where are we going to stop on the way home? Set yeah. Come down, get your groove going. And uh, I just don't know. Let's see what Jake can do here. He's had a hot bat, Lance, so. That one's high. You better get down. Get out of the way. Coming in, Rose the oh, yeah. Now, Grayson was. <laughs> that was some good speed. Good job. Nice hustle, Elliot. He is a speedster out there. He played a lot of lacrosse for Lemoyne. He did. Yep. So it's, uh, what, eight zip? <laughs> yep. And like I say, with that short backstop, you got to really be moving. Yeah. And that's, well, I was surprised they caught Grayson at the plate there, but that's a strike. Three and one. Runners, it's uh, second and third. Two outs. Bottom of the fourth. Oh, nice swing, nice swing. So. Full count, three and two. And the pitch. That one's gonna go through. He's gonna be safe easily this time, yep. Comes in. Scores on a pass ball. Mm -hmm. And Jake uh, goes to first on a pass ball. And that's gonna bring up Landon Miller. 
And they should be stealing Jake here, but I would, if I was the defending coach, you know, I might try to go for the out. If my catcher's got a good arm, then, mm. you know what I mean? I, I would send yeah. it, try to get out of the inning. Because, you know, we're going to 10-run rule them here shortly yeah. if they don't. Eighth batter to come. Justin missed the jump on that Yeah. One. That's all right. Yeah. Probably a little bit of frustration setting in there. But. Yeah. That was a ball, right? <clears throat> Tailed out. Sean talking to him. Yeah. Giving him some pointers. One and one. Oh, he gets a piece That's of it there. One and two. Nobody knows where the ball is. Oh, we're stuck in the catcher's. What, are you catching the uh, chest protector there? Yeah. It's like a goalie when a puck gets. Yeah, in your pads. Everybody is just keeps on hitting him, right? <laughs> and, uh, leaves off of that one. Get to two and two and two. Here's your. All the twos lining Does that up. Make six. In all of those. Yeah. <laughs> that one going by. Right now you better get down. Be safe. Nice job. Good speed. High throw helped. That motivated some people. Justin is very motivated with that. Nice speed, Justin. Jake's over at third. They're down there high fiving everybody, running right down the right. line there. That's awesome with our guys. Tens up your score. Yeah. Bottom of the fourth. Work the count full. Nice, nice. job. Get there, get there, get there, get there. Tried to oh, bare hand it. Oh. Good work. Oh, he got down the line. Yeah. That might be one of his. Shortstop tried to bare hand it there. Yeah. That was a Lang good loss. shot. Yeah. Not a lot of time. Fenton Meyer, 10th batter, up. You know, we're, he, he is making another pitching change, Lance. Quick hook. Well, we'll have a moment. Tell us your, uh, your story. Okay. So I think it was Sunday afternoon. I had just a little bit of time before it got dark. Mm -hmm. And I decided I like to do a little bit of gold panning. A little bit of what? Gold panning. Okay. So I can't tell you where the secret spot is, <laughs> but it's here in Hardwick, and um, there is gold. There's plenty there of gold in the Lamoille River. So there's the secret spot, right? Everybody knows it now. Huh. But the craziest thing I find is, you know, you look for. I don't know anything about gold panning, but I do find a fleck or two every now and then, and um, I saw this orange stain in the sand and that you know means metal of some sort so i started right. playing around and i found an old pistol really yeah it's pretty crazy it's all like crusted and huh rusted like but to dig it a little it looks like a little 22 automatic huh pistol did you turn it in i have it i i still have it yeah but uh there's no way to read the serial numbers or anything i'm thinking so huh. I'm saying it here because I would love to know if some of the listeners say, you know, my grandfather once yeah. told me a story of my uncle right. or my aunt, you know, a fisherman. And I, I hope it's not anything bad. But yeah. You know, I, I dropped it when I was out fishing. Or, but with the floods that we had last summer, that that yeah. could have came. Yeah. From. You never know where it could come from. Yeah. You stop and think about some of those items you found. I work with, I work with a guy who's big into metal detecting. Yeah. You know, has one of those metal detectors that goes out and finds all kinds of old coins and stuff like that. And you think, you know, you find this coin from like, you know, 1850. It's like, you know, who had it? Where did it? Where did it originate from? Yeah. You think of the story behind the coin. I think it's fascinating. And, and that's what I would love to know if somebody, yeah. you know. Yeah. I, uh, I probably will be under investigation now for my gold panning. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Firearms, I yeah, guess. Yeah, we're gonna, right? gonna call. The, F, the FBI is gonna be giving your calls. Yeah, I'm there, sure yeah. I'm high on the list there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's true. It is. 
This, I want to say this is the Maddox Souls. The fourth or the fourth fifth pitcher. pitcher we've seen, yeah? Yep. Okay. Maddox Souls uh, on the mound now. And Fenton is going to break the ice for us with Maddox. There's gold in Dendar Hills yep. for Ivan Menard. <laughs> So that's what we got to do sometime, you know. We'll do Wimbledon and we'll go out panning for gold and we'll make a, a little show out of it. Like, that'd be fun. We got a lefty throwing. So that's Speaking of that, you know what? If I remember right, I looked up some trivia, but I didn't write it down. But I want to say today, and we talked about this at one of the broadcasts, I think today is Strawberries and Cream Day. Hey. National Strawberries and Cream Day. And you had, and you had Strawberry Day? Yeah. yeah. So you're, you're, now just pretend you're at Wimbledon and you're all set. <laughs> That's not going to help my... Uh, maybe I better try pickleball. <laughs> See how that goes. Now this lefty, should, it's going to hold the base runner tighter. That was... Inside. Inside. Maybe a little bit low. See if Fenton can make some contact here. Oh, oh, the umpire helped that one. I think he took that one in his left shoulder up off the ground, or maybe they kid took it in the So Cats have put five runs on the board here in the bottom of the fourth mm -hmm. to make it 11 zip. I believe that's three and out of Fenton, so I don't know if you'll have him swinging away or that's ball Inside, four. Inside, ball four, he's gonna walk. So we have now batted around as uh, Owen Scorstead is up now, who led off the inning uh, with that chopper up to first base. Mm -hmm. Seems like a long time ago. It does, but. This is what happens in baseball. I mean, it, it, if you look at Owen, I, I've said it before, he just oozes baseball. Mm -hmm. You know, the way he stands up there, you can just see the confidence in, in it. Yeah. And um, I just love it. I can't wait to see him just crush this ball. Oh, he was high. thinking about that. We talked about that high pitch. It's hard to lay up on that. It is. <clears throat> Again, Ivan, I'll show off my, my, I don't even know what word to look for. Foul ball. Lack of baseball knowledge. Mm -hmm. If a pitcher's throwing high, he's releasing what, early? Or just releasing at a high point in his motion? You As know, opposed to in a dirt. If, uh, to me, if he's releasing, he's going down to the dirt, he's like releasing late. Late, yep. Yeah. If it's high, is he releasing early? Well, some of that, and sometimes it just slips out, too. Okay. Yeah. But, you know, that's, um, you're right, Lance. You know, you shouldn't say a lack of baseball knowledge, but there it is again. That one broke. I think the umpire was like, let's, uh, let's set this down and just yeah. move along here. All right. Well, you know, we had ice cream. Let's read our sponsors. <laughs> <laughs> you're watching Hayes and Union Wildcat Baseball. Here on HCTV, channel 1080 on your cable dial and streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Uh, sponsors today, the Village Restaurant, open 6 to 3 every day, uh, breakfast and takeout all day. Check out the daily specials and the Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, gmtcc.lsd.org. Jumpstart your future. Um, have one more at bat. One more at bat, yes. Um, there was somewhere I was going to go with the conversation, but I'll be darned if I can remember where it was. I think I found my new summertime sport, Ivan. What is that? The WNBA. Oh, yeah. I, I, wa I started watching it. I mean, obviously, yeah, I want to see what Caitlin Clark did on her first night, which she didn't do much. But I, I've always been more of an Angel Reese fan than, than Caitlin Clark. And, you know, that's darn good basketball. Oh, I'm sure it is. Darn good basketball. You know, they're, they're starting up a, a women's hockey league this yeah. year. And, um, no, I, I have been pretty impressed with. And the big thing that I like is they don't just. 
I'll go against popular opinion here. Yeah. I think the three-point shot has completely killed the game of college and pro basketball. Really? I think it's absolutely killed it. Well, nice. Uh, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar wouldn't exist in today's game. True. Because nobody plays inside. Mm -hmm. They all shoot these 30-foot rainbows from outside. I always say you live and, they live and die from it. Yeah. Davidon up to lead the uh, fifth inning off for the Ghost. I think uh, out to the pitcher. Oh, sorry. He went out. He he went out to the pitcher back in the uh, second inning. That was his only at bat. That's into the sun. Yeah. Nice catch by Menard. Another yeah. sub coming up. That was a good catch, Andrew. That was a mile high, and, and he really was looking in the sun. You know, the, the three-point line wasn't in effect when I was in high school, and I know it wasn't no. when you were in high school. No. But in 1980, I graduated in 87. I thought Michael Art was like, right on, Ivan, but Michael's over there, 87. I was, he might have been born by then, right? This is Brissette up for, uh, no, and if you watch the uh, the ESPN 30 for 30 on the on the Lakers Celtics series back there in the 80s, you know the three point the three point shot was there, but they didn't use it. They thought it was kind of like a novelty. Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't know, so, and and that's what I guess I like about the WNBA. Yes, they shoot some threes, but they don't seem to just make that the only part of the game. They play a lot more inside, which I, I enjoy. The handle. Which is why I was a huge Tyler Revart fan. You know, yeah. Tyler got his points inside. He's a big kid, made a lot of room. Yeah, he was like the Moses Malone yeah. of, you know, Hazen. He could do both. You know, and he could play that outside game. He yeah. could. He had a nice short jumper. You know? court sense and his passing ability. Whoop. That went high. But, yeah, high school basketball, the three-point line is just, it's still a big, big portion of it. Here we go, let's see what he delivers here. Nice pitch, Grayson. Struck it out. That'd be five or six for the day there, right? One, two, three, four, five. I have five, unofficially. One, two, three, four, five unofficially for McNaughton today. Uh, Connor Hurley, a senior, up for Randolph. Oh, nice pitch by Grayson. Was that one down or is... That's two down. That is two down? That is two down. Thank you, Eric. The scoreboard here. <clears throat> Another foul. Foul back. 0-2. Oh, Everybody's running away like it's an angry bee. <laughs> He could end it right here. Well, I can't yeah. see the outside. 0 oh 2. 0 oh 2 should count. That was a nice pitch right there. Yeah. That's what we call a good miss again. 1 and 2. Two outs. Top of the fifth. I think Cole Cats Freebar up 11 7. I really liked that pitch. I think he did too. I think nice he won it. I think Joe's looking to just go home and have some supper. There it Struck is. him out, and there it is. Yeah. That, that is six strikeouts Woo. for McNaughton. Beauty game by McNaughton. I mean, every inning but the fourth, it was three up and three down. They brought five batters in the fourth. Six strikeouts for Grayson McNaughton. Cats uh, 11 and zip. Uh, 11 zip is the uh, score. Uh, pushes their record overall to uh, where am I? Randolph is in our division, right? Yes. Uh, that'll make us four and six division, four and eight overall, unofficially again. Uh, once again, this has been Hazen Wildcat. Baseball here from Hudson Fields at Hardwick, Vermont. You've been watching on HGTV, Channel 1080 on your cable dial, streaming worldwide and archived at www.hgtv.us. Sponsors today, The Village Restaurant, open 6 to 3 every day, breakfast and takeout all day. Check out their daily specials. And Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, gmtcc.lsd.org, jumpstart your future. Michael on tech, art on camera. Uh, Ivan supplying the expert commentary. Lance Hall playing tag along today. Ivan, you coming back Thursday when we host uh, I will LA? be here with Bell. On. I, I thoroughly enjoy this. They're going to ring the bell. Yeah, they're going to ring the bell. And uh, till then, live every moment, love every day. We'll see you next time. Bye bye.